my channel if you guys are new to this channel hello hi i am maramusa and welcome happy new monday happy first monday of january 2022 and you guys know we've got to kick it off with a makeup video for the new year i'm gonna make sure that every monday there is some sort of makeup video on my youtube channel for you guys whether it's a full makeup tutorial whether it's a get ready with me where i talk about certain things or whether it just be doing a review things i didn't like just anything but just know monday guys i'm going to be doing my makeup that's something that a lot of you guys that love the way i do my makeup love the way i teach love the way i just show you guys how i do things are definitely going to be happy for so you guys have something to look forward to on a monday so i literally just posted my most recent vlog and that was just kind of like my coming to the end of the year welcoming you guys into the new year and in that vlog i had my makeup that way but the makeup i pretty much done it exactly the same way and a couple of you guys said that you wanted to see a makeup tutorial so this is why we're here today so i've done a full tutorial on how i get this beat <laughs> oh excuse me if you guys are new to this channel you're clicking this video for the first time first of all obviously thank you i'm gonna give you guys a head start i do use quite a bit of products but in the video i explain that you don't have to use every single thing i use you don't have to mix certain products the way i mix certain products you can just do it to you know cater to you but this is legit what i do and this is how i get my like i get my face to look like this and i genuinely love my makeup like this i feel like it's so flawless it's so glam i love looking glam and this is what i wanted to show you guys this new year um and i just really hope you guys love it anyways if you guys want to see how i achieve this look you know what to do keep watching the video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe you know let me know that you're loving these because i'm not gonna try and stop anytime soon i'm just gonna keep on rolling but um thank you again for clicking i really hope you enjoy the video so let's get started i've already done my skincare routine my morning slash afternoon skincare routine so if you guys would love to see that let me know in the comments and i will make sure i get that ready in my next vlog for you guys i'm gonna start off with my eyebrows i always love to start off with my eyebrows it just it means everything to me i'm gonna be using the benefit precisely my brow eyebrow pencil in the shade four i'm just lightly shaping in my brows like so I'm literally just shaping out the outline and I do it so effortlessly light um, because you don't want to have a long line going across your like to shape your brows you want it to be nice and thin because you're going to be adding false hair in the brows so this is how I like to leave it for my concealer underneath my eyebrows I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills magic touch concealer and I have the shade 14 I like to take my Mima cosmetics angled eyebrow brush take some residue from the concealer brush I like to lightly just trace the brows arch just like that and then I will do my front I like to trace the concealer all the way down to my eyelids as well and I just literally just make sure it's even and smoothed out. Literally this brush spreads it all out for you. With how many years of makeup I still always think you can never get your brows like perfect yourself. Doing it on someone else maybe but I feel like they're always going to be sisters, never twins. I feel like this one is slightly more arched but it's right because we've got the fringe covering it this side. So you're doing the same thing and you're literally just bringing it down. Depending on how dark your circles are around your eyes depends whether you want to put more concealer on. Because we're going to do some nice eyeshadow. I'm going to put a little bit on just to have a nice balanced base. And I'm literally just taking what is on that concealer. I'm using Mima number four and what I'm doing is I'm literally just blending in that concealer. This number four is actually an eyeshadow um, blending brush but because I've got quite a few of these brushes in my room. Um, I like to use certain ones for certain things as well. So I like to use this one to blend my concealer. I do really like using my brushes more when they've had a wear out of them. Do you know what I mean? Fresh brushes are lovely, but there's just something about a brush that you, when you've already used it, it's, it just works. I like to also take a beauty blender just to pat everything in motion and in place like so. Um, I don't really like having creases on my eyelids. I tend to get them anyways, but I try to, as much as possible, just minimise it 
on the lids. Okay, so I'm now gonna use the Il Maquillage Translucent Powder for my eyelids. This powder is actually really good for mattifying any of your areas that might be oily. It's so lightweight. It literally feels like you're putting talcum powder, like a very nice and light talcum powder on any part of your face. It smells incredible as well. It's got like this nice powdery, soft smell. <laughs> Going in with a new palette by Morphe Brushes. This is a 335 Big Primping palette. Look how beautiful this palette is. And literally guys, there are so many lovely colors here and these kind of colors are so me. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Beauty Secret and I'm using Mima brush number four. This is the number four that I use for my eyeshadow. It's really good as like a really nice overall blending brush. I basically just follow where my crease is and I take it as far out as I want it to go. These are my typical kinds of shades. Ugh, I do know that in the new year I will be trying, but I think because I'm at that age in my life, I'm just like, why am I doing bright green eyeshadow? But I really should come up my comfort zone, but I'm really, really comfortable in my zone. So <laughs> well, I'll see what else I can create with these kind of neutral looks that I love to do. Guys, I'm not even joking. This brush is so soft. So there's a certain palette that I will forever and ever use just because of there's literally three shades that are my ultimate go-to shades. Like you guys know I'm creating stuff at the moment. So I know what kind of shades are the best kind of chocolate brown, Albany um, kind of vibe. And I'm just all for that. So this is the Morphe Artistry palette and I absolutely love Woke Up Like This. This Woke Up Like This is literally almost done guys, but it's such a good in-between color. Even if you're on a darker tone, using that as a transition color blends so well with so many other colors that I've used. And I, wait, when this runs out, I should actually grab my way and find that shade. I'm now going in with brush number seven. This is the tapered um, brush. Brush I use slightly to deepen the corners. I don't take it too far in. Because of how tapered it is, you can literally create that kind of pointed blend going outside of your eyeshadow as a new sis channel hey i actually have a dog um a little frenchie called mimi and she's always with me especially when i'm doing makeup videos or something she's always like either outside the room in her bed or down beside me just snoring away but nella really wanted her um for the next couple of days and i was like by all means take her um, and i'm just bit here like i actually really miss my dog <laughs> We're going back into the big primping palette. I'm taking Total Inspo and I'm taking my brush number six. This is a really nice smudging brush. Um, you can use this anywhere you wanna use for smudging. I really, really like it um, around the outer part of my eyes and I just like to just bring it in. She still swoop it out like so. I'm such a perfectionist. I'm gonna take um, my number four again and I'm taking Beauty Secrets. I'm literally just making sure that orange is just nicely blended in and you guys can see like it's creating a little bit of a nice sunsetty vibe in it where my edge of my eyelids are and i'm just letting it come out I'm gonna add some concealer on my lid just so that the eyeshadow that we use sticks on properly try and keep the concealer literally on the thinnest part that don't go past your socket of your eyes this is what's going to kind of create that really nice catty um lifted look you can use your finger to pat it down but because my nails really annoying i'm just going to use another brush to do that uh, i'm just going to use one of these brushes and then i'm literally just blending this out so um I'm just literally patting that down. We're literally just gonna add a little bit of shimmer and we're gonna go in with the shade. This is Major and All Lux. Just literally just lightly tapping it on the lid like so. I like to start from literally the end of where that concealer is and then bring it to the corner. Guys, I really love this little look again we have me my brush number seven this is a tapered brush like i said you guys are going to just have the best time with this little bad boy just blending everything in but also just making sure everything has that nice swoosh effect and everything comes out same here 
now we're going to do our liner we don't do the whole line anymore guys we have changed it up completely um we are going to be using the sam marcel liquid liner it's gonna have to bear with me because i really need a full length mirror to be able to see properly literally just getting liner as thin as possible at the beginning part of your eye so you want to go probably like to about here and i know it probably looks like well you haven't done anything but you want it to be very thin and you want it to just look so natural you don't want it to be too thick at all rather than trying to draw it just kind of place it and let it um stamp on all we're gonna do now is we're gonna put mascara on the lashes and the mascara that we're using today is the l'oreal volume million lashes in all honesty guys <clears throat> I don't know if I've said, I've probably said this before, but lashes, uh, mascara isn't a thing for me at all. Now you've done that, um, your eyes are 80% of the way done. This is my order. You don't have to do this order, but I tend to find that this just works so well for me and I really always like my results by doing this. So now we're gonna prep the skin before we start on the foundation. I have been using this combo at the moment. Um, this is the Il Macchiar No Filter Poreless Base Primer. And then I've been using the Hoodie Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. So probably seems a bit strange because I've got a really hydrating primer and I've also got like a baseless, a poreless one. So the reason why I mix the two is because the Il Maquillage one is just so, so, so good when it comes to mattifying your face and really locking in moisture. I don't always like how the foundation comes on top of it. It's not, it's not as um, like luminous and like, um, I guess like moisturizing enough. It just goes on my skin and it kind of dries up. And I don't always want that. So by mixing some sort of hydrating primer on top, it kind of balances it out. And then what I tend to do is, and I think this is a really good trick, is um, the areas that I get the oil, I just go in a little bit more with the Il Maquillage, which is like my nose. Like you guys know about this place where it shines a lot. I literally let that be the place that's the most blurry. And yeah that is where we go from there okay so we're going to be using the huda um full this is the full coverage yeah this is the full high coverage cream foundation the huda foundation is in the shade 430 gingerbread n 430 n and that's gingerbread i think this one's quite close to my tone and then i also use Il Maquillage 170 I woke up like this. This is a flawless base foundation as well. I'm not gonna show you where I pump it because it's actually disgusting because I sometimes pop, pump my hair glue in the other corner and you girls that know when you, you know, squeeze the glue or the hair gel onto the palette and it just builds up, it's just not cute. So I don't wanna burn your eyes this new Monday. And then I'm gonna take my brush number three, Mima. And I'm literally just going to dot out one side. I'm going to do it one side at a time um, where I want my foundation to be. Ready, I'm going to be using a number 11 by Mima for this brush. And I'm literally letting it buffer in. It's totally up to you how much foundation you want on. Doing the same on this side. I literally love just to buffer everywhere out um i really put foundation on my forehead like around here i still go in with a beauty blender this is a really good technique if your face also feels a bit too thick a bit too much coverage you can always use the beauty blender just take your time with it to just dampen and soak everything in. Going in now with a contour. You guys should know already, I use my number nine to cream contour and to brown powder contour. And it'll be easier for you guys if you just take it, take a little bit at a time and just buffer it in. Um, I just like to just take it, I think as far as there is enough. It's so crazy because I feel like I put my wig today so close to me that 
whose hair really grows from there. And you wanna carve your jawline. This brush just effortlessly blends and also we've got to give thanks to Head of Beauty because this has been one of my favorite cream contours. Taking what's left on that brush and I'm just literally dabbing it down just slightly because it doesn't need that much product. We're going in again with Glossier. I will die for this, well, I wouldn't, but I literally ride for this product. I'm a cheapskate and I feel like I still get a bit more out of this just beforehand. This color is just so beautiful. Like, I love this color, I love this orange, and I love the texture. It doesn't get rid of the foundation. Brush number nine, I'm just gonna buffer that into my skin. And guys, literally you wanna take it high up the cheekbones now. Um, you can go like this if you want to, but I honestly just like doing that stippling effect. And this is literally how I do the blusher for now. This is the first stage. I like to use two shades of concealers, you guys know already. So I like to go in with this Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. I can't stop using this concealer. I am so happy with it. I'm literally just going like that, getting everything out. And I just like to draw on here where I would want to put my concealer. This side. Where I like to put my concealer. Draw out my highlight. Like so, and like so. So um, I'm going to use a beauty blend and I'm literally just patting down everywhere, really making sure that under eye crease is nicely blended and I would just say like just take your time with it, take your goddamn time. And so you want to just blend everything, that is that. If you want to, you can leave that. I've still got the Lock It Concealer by Kat Von D. Um, there's glue gunk on the lid of this, so I'm so sorry if you guys are witnessing this right now. And uh, this is in the shade M25 Warm. I'm gonna lightly put concealer in the same place that I just did, but more focused around the eye and the littlest bit there. And oh, of course this was gonna happen when I use my makeup wipe. I'm gonna also put that on your nose because this is how you'll create that really nice highlight. You can put a little bit in your chin. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and we're just going to really get just here. You get here as well. I have made this part the focus point and this part is gonna be the most seamless when I bake. Slightly there. You wanna just the chin as well i literally only do that kind of dot i'm gonna bronze up my face now and i'm gonna be using the huda glow wish luminous pressed powder so it's like a pressed powder but i like to use it as a bronzer and um i like to use that as a bronzer contour and i'm using mima number 10 again and i'm just going to start by lightly creating that bronzed illusion this side ain't gonna be like the other side because first of all it's getting hidden and all this hair is annoying <laughs> on the forehead again it's very very light very very de delicate and it's literally that simple i've literally been using il maquillage a lot so um i'm gonna continue using il maquillage so i really love this mineralized baked blush which is in the shade toxic this is my ultimate dream blusher um i already done the cream so if you guys are just happy with this you can just set now and call it a day but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna go in with this this is very pigmented even though it is you know a blush and it's a mineral one it's really pigmented so bear that in mind when using it you don't want to put too much because the shine the highlight it just it's very prominent like even just me doing that you guys can tell same thing here now we're gonna go in and mix two powders we've got your holy grail Laura Mercier and then I'm gonna mix my Il Maquillage so I figured out mixing these together gave me such a good set such a good under eye set and i feel like you guys will like it you don't need to have both you can have one or the other but if you have both then try this and let me know if you think 
that your makeup lasted longer and if you really got that moisture like locked in so i recommend getting one of these these are so like the my three things that i would always say utensils that you need for your makeup game that you know to get it to such a nice level like your base and everything is a really good set of brushes link down below <laughs> um you need a good beauty blender that isn't too hard that you can really really soak in the moisture and soak it out and really get your skin pressed and it's soft do you know what i mean and also one of these puffer brushes they have changed my life nothing's wrong with using a beauty blender to do your setting powder but i feel like you'd really really appreciate how good this little this literally this little puffer brush does to your application game i'm literally just going to lightly like lightly set this isn't the bake this isn't the you know the full full glam this is just setting what we have done i just love 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 that i have fallen in love with this puffer brush i'm gonna do yeah i'd like to also take this all the way to here if you can i'm gonna make it a bit more detailed in a second but it already starts the basis of that what i will be doing is just wiping it off everything else wipe off take my nose off and i'm happy with that so as you guys can see right now it's very light it's very neutral it's not too much and with when you have like a translucent obviously it is white at the end of the day you will always get a little bit of a white kind of overcast or view uh, and also depending on the concealer you use will make a difference to like how your setting powder is going to look as well what i'm going to do now is we're going to go in with another one of like my all-time favorite setting powders another slora mercier this is the honey one this has the yellow color the brush i'm using right now which is actually a concealer brush but i love it as a setting powder brush is the fenty beauty it doesn't have a number because it's wiped off but this fenty beauty brush and i know it's definitely a concealer brush it's all about just placing it in the areas you want the baking to be it's not going to wash you out it's just going to do that yellow pop I'm using the white, the, the translucent Laura Mercier rather than the yellow Laura Mercier. So what I like to do at this stage is go over again. I know you guys are thinking, babe, you have so much time to do this, but it's worth it. If it's something really special, then tr I promise you like it'll be worth it. I'm going in again with the um, mineralized bake powder and, and I'm just lightly, lightly going over so that the actual the actual honey baking powder hasn't washed out my face so i'm gonna be going in with a brush number 12 mima and the il maquillage wacker wacker moonrise brace bronzer and i like to just kind of put that all around here still put it around my cheeks forehead again and this is just doing the job so this is gonna help create that really nice chiseled neck it's all about the illusion guys it's all about the illusion okay so now i like to finish the brows so you guys are thinking babe you hadn't finished the brows no 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 you guys know a lot of you guys really love the way i've been doing my brows these days and this is the reason why this is the method i use the lottie micro blade effect brow pen which is this okay this is in the shade cool brown you there's there's about four or five shades so you'll find your shade and what i like to do with this is i like to kind of just fill in any places that seem better and i kind of do this very sporadically like i don't put too much pressure on the pen i'm very light with the pen i'm very light with the pen and i literally just try and make everything the same length and it just fills it in same with this fills it in but kind of starts to create those false hair illusions i go in with 
the brow pen by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade chocolate so this one I would say you need a really good steady hand because I sometimes make it too butchy if that's even a thing so you have to try and be very elegant with it start I would say start with the outer because you can always use concealer there just to um, neaten if you go wrong and then you get a little bit of a practice with your control of the pen if you start there as well and this is just another cool way to kind of do that false brow effect just to fill things in and lighter strokes always win all right so now that's how i do my brows some days look amazing some days look all right some days look a bit like babe you went a bit too far I'm just gonna take off the excess powder and see how like soft that looks i know it probably seems like the longest thing ever but i promise you it's so worth it like i just love this coverage i'm gonna go in with the glowish bronzer again in extra tan and i'm actually using the maven makeup brush this is the defined eyeshadow but i use it for my nose i like how straight it is and i like that it's a very nice blendable um brush so i start here and i lightly take it down i literally just follow where i did that highlight and same thing here i can i can still never get this like perfect but we remember as we're not trying to do that this year we're doing the best we can going in with brush number eight i'm taking my jubilation palette by nars and i'm just gonna lightly add myself a bit more of a shimmer just to get those high cheekbones and you, know, you guys can see love the fan at the moment can you guys see that? And I like to just go in with a little bit of highlighter there on my nose. This is still the NARS highlighter. Let's get these eyes over and done with. I'm gonna go in with So Gorge for my under eye. And I'm just gonna lightly use brush number two. This is a really nice detail brush just to do a little thin under eye line and I'm still connecting it to the top of my eyeshadow. You want to get as close to the waterline as you possibly can and then I'm literally going to just take the shade Epic and I'm just going to get the waterline a bit more just to get that nice chocolatey brown water eye happy with that now so the last little bit of baking we're going to do before we you know get come to the end with this makeup tutorial is it's just setting that whole face in certain parts with the charlotte tilbury and um, flawless veneer micro powder i know in this video i'm using a lot of products but you guys ask for it and I'm just showing you what I do. Um, hence why I'm probably always late to like a lot of things because I'm probably still in front of the mirror. I actually just, once again, take that Charlotte Tilbury and pop it here. So just so that that line and that part of my baking is just so in tune. And once again, I take it just here. I always focus on this part as where First of all, I get the most shine here anyways, but this is also one of the best places to just have that flawless base finish. And then, once again, we'll let that sit. We'll do the lashes and the lips won't take long. Thank you guys so much if you guys are stuck around this far. We're almost to the finish line. You guys must probably already know the kind of cat eye effect and all of that so i am literally cutting the lashes about three yeah three big like ends and i like to just place this a little bit here once again i really need like a mirror for this and the way i angle it is very different so i now put it like this 
but I kind of lift it up so that it's slightly high. So it kind of just, do you see? Just lifts it. So there's a gap there. There is a gap, but we're gonna fill that with a liner. I swear, no one can ever do my face the way I do my face. Like, honestly, I just don't think anyone can. <laughs> The other eye is drying. What I like to do now is go in those gaps with that same Sam Marcel liquid liner and do this lightly. You don't want to poke your eye out. You just want to basically get in between and if you can as well, maybe put some on your actual lash to hide any residue from the sealer or the eyeshadow. And then I literally just join. It's definitely one and out. I like to kind of push my lashes to go up. So now you can leave the mascara as well. So bring that lift back and make sure that underneath is kind of as black as it can go. Right, kind of that's the best I can do right now. I'm gonna do my beauty spots. Um, this is. This is the brow pen, but this is the ebony shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Because my liquid liner is just done now, um, I'm gonna just apply my dot. I'm gonna do the mascara again, and it's more on the root of the lash rather than further down. We don't wanna make it like spidery or long. So I am literally just going to lightly pencil. I like to give myself a prominent cupid's bow. This is literally my go-to lip pencil. I love the shade. I love the colour. It's so nice. So now I'm going to go in with this lipstick. So basically, I was going to sell a lip gloss first when I originally started Mima. Um, but I just felt like it just wasn't the right time to do that yet so this is one of the shades that i wanted to use this is a matte shade and this has been um, a shade that i actually use a lot for my looks and it's like a pinky peachy kind of color <laughs> the liner just to blend everything out as much as possible um, I like to use Il Maquillage to set my lip. I, I feel like it gives a really nice texture, texture at the end, a nice matte texture. And I don't know how to explain it, but it just makes it look vel like very soft. It really locks in that. And because the powder is so soft, like when I say like blending, yeah doesn't feel weird um you know it's not a makeup video without some setting spray and this is a charlotte tilbury airbrush setting spray even though i'm not going anywhere and i'm running out i still use this like i have an abundance of setting sprays which i don't what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take out the curls i'm going to put my earrings on and I'm going to show you guys the full finish look. Okay, so guys, I am officially finished this look. I hope you guys loved it. I know to a lot of you guys that maybe it's the end, you probably think, babe, it's a lot of products, but you can see why. <laughs> you can see why we got to how we are, but I, this is literally one of my full coverage. It's very, very flawless makeup look and this is literally for any of you guys that loved my makeup the other day it was this was how i done it and also for any of you guys that have been really wanting to see me do my brows have really wanted to see me really go in depth and detail with just getting this kind of makeup look my next one's going to be something very much more natural for you guys so i'm going to tone it down for the next week but this week 
we got to start with a bang. If there's any other looks or any other types of videos you guys want me to do on a Monday, makeup related, it can literally be anything. But no, I'm going to be doing my makeup. <laughs> Let me know down below as well. Anyways, guys, have an amazing start to the first Monday. Be productive, be motivated, stay focused, and let's get this money. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.